G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Now I have made another little mold, just a little one. It's a little flower. It's kind of got like diamond faceted design in there. I don't know if you can see. And this is just my little prototype and I'm just trying to work out whether or not um, it'll make a coaster or a gorgeous sun catcher. It's not very deep um, because I thought, you know, it would be really pretty to have like a translucent sort of a shimmer um, as, yeah, like a, for a sun catcher. You can put a little hole in the top. Just trying to focus my camera. <laughs> so, um, I will step away. Um, I've made up some platinum 360 plus resin it's probably way too much i did 50 grams of a and 22 grams of b now i thought um going along the lines of that bubble coaster that i the bubble tray that i made i'm really enjoying using the alcohol inks and just getting like a transparent sort of look makes it look like glass so if you didn't see my my bubble tray you probably don't know what I'm talking about but yeah I just used alcohol inks in that I did rainbow colors I'm enjoying the rainbow colors too I guess because it's spring and we've just come out of winter and I'm enjoying the nice bright nice bright colors so I'm just dividing these up I'm going to use I've got three alcohol inks here I've got green purple and blue and they are actually metallic alcohol inks by Marabou. Um, that one is metallic violet, metallic blue, metallic green. I have shaken them before, before I started, but give them a really good shake so you can hear that little ball moving around. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to divide these. They're a bit crusty around the edges. A bit crusty. Let's give that a wipe. Don't want those little bits falling in. Um, now the only issue with this is when you tip, when you tip it, the bubble closes the little nozzle. So I'm just gonna open it over here just so I can get all those little crusty bits off. I haven't used them for a while, so they tend to have those little bits. I'm just squirting some in. These, they're just kind of a, a squeezy, pop-off kind of a, a nozzle. But yeah, it's a bit tricky to get anything out because the ball wants to block the neck. All right, so that's them. Let's give my hands a bit of a squirt with alcohol. Now, let's see what these are going to look like. Whether I've got enough ink in there. They're still transparent, but it just gives a little shimmer. And I thought that might be nice just to try out for today. You could, if you wanted to, just use plain alcohol inks, and I think you'd get more of a transparent kind of a look. Not sure. But I'm, I'm happy to try these. I want to see what they do. I just have to make sure that I've stirred it really well. Otherwise, you get streaks. I don't want that. I'm going to make sure you get it right off the sides. There's no little bits of ink left. Otherwise, yeah, you do get streaks. Okay, let's try the blue. Give that a stir up. I just thought these three colours would go nicely together. Green, blue and purple. We'll see how that goes. This is a pretty sun catcher, hey? I think I've got a little tool somewhere that I can draw or push, like a twist. I think it's just like a twist uh, when the resin's not too hard and it makes a little hole. And you can thread them with some beads or 
you know, fishing line and thread little beads and crystals and things on it. All right, so there's my three colours. I won't add any more. We'll just see how that goes for now. All righty, are we ready? <laughs> Let's get myself a little bit of paper towel. Um, gee, I've stirred that up quite vigorously, haven't I? Hopefully I haven't got too many bubbles going on in there. I will just spray my mold with some alcohol because bubbles love to stick to silicone they do whereas if you spray it and just break that surface tension of the the resin uh, of the silicone I think it, it helps all right here we go why am I doing this right <sighs> must be ambidextrous sometimes I do things with my right hand and sometimes I do with my left um, so I'm going to do every like third one a bit of purple and I'll come back and do a little bit of green okay I've got I'm gonna have plenty left I think and I don't mind if the colors kind of blend a little bit How's that looking so far? I'm sorry if my hands are in the way. I, I just had no idea like how this was going to work, but I thought oh, I'll just I'll just go for it. <laughs> there we go. So that's one of each. Now we'll put a little bit more in. Um, I do have another little mold ready to go on the side here next to me um, for leftovers. Oh, that one's a bit much. <laughs> I want to be much in. Yeah, they are going to kind of blend. Mm, blue. Because they're not, you know, the segments aren't segmented. <laughs> so the, the resin's just going to kind of all blend on the top. Okay, that's that. More green. I thought these, I chose colours that sort of look nice when they blended together as well. There's no point putting colours in there that when they're mixed they're going to look awful. I won't spray, I won't torch because I've put alcohol in there and the alcohol gets pushed up to the sides by the resin and then you torch and then of course it all flares up so don't do that this will be the bottom though so I don't mind torching it all right a little bit more I'm just going to see how much I can put in fill it up a little bit more but yeah it's always fun when you've got something new to play with a little prototype I wasn't exactly sure how much resin it took or how it was going to work but I thought I'll just give it a try anyway you might decide, you know, if you were doing something like this, you might just want to do clear with a little bit of sparkle or you might want to do one pink one and one blue one and one green one and then hang them all together and, and get your colours that way. There's lots of things you could do. just thought I'd do it this way. I think that'll be enough, actually. I don't want to fill it up too much. All right, so here's my little my little extra mold that I've got. My little druzy, six druzy. Um, I wonder what a dirty pour would look like. What do you think? Let's should we try it? I don't know that I'm going to have very much of the green, but let's let's do a little bit. Pour some green in there. And pour some purple in there. <laughs> this is probably going to look awful, but I, <laughs> I just want to try it. A little dirty pour. And I'm not going to stir. It's going to... Actually, I'll better pour out the opposite side, hey?
How's that looking? Oh, that looks pretty cool, you guys. The first one had more colour change in it. Uh, and then the second, as you go down the line, it didn't have as much. I wonder how many I can get. That's all. That's all I'm going to get. Ooh, the poor green. I didn't use very much of the green. I just thought it might take over a bit, you see. Let's use it all. Can't do anything with such a tiny little bit of resin left over, so I'll use it all. Not much left now. Okay, let's just fill this one. Oh, I should have sprayed these. <gasps> Oh gosh, should have sprayed these with alcohol. Never mind. This one needs a little bit more. That looks cool, doesn't it? It does. It looks so cool. A bit more blue in that one. And this one can have a tiny little bit scraping it all out. A little bit of green in that one. All right, guys, that's it. That is it. Oh, that was fun. All right, let's give that a bit of a spray. But yeah, I should have sprayed the inside, the Druzies, um, with my alcohol first. But I was so excited to do the dirty pour that I totally forgot about it. All right, let's clean off our sticks. Little sticks, use those again. A stir stick. There we go. Clean up as you go, hey. All righty. Um, I'll get you down. I'm loving these. This is the main one. I'm loving those. I'm going to oh, a dirty pour in this next time. Yes. Won't that be fun? Let's do that next time. After I've demolded this one, um, definitely do a dirty pour, eh? Hey? Now, I don't know that you're going to be able to see very much here. It's looking a bit dark. And I can't turn up my colour on the screen. I'm sorry. Oh, having trouble focusing. The camera doesn't know which one to focus on. Never mind. All right, uh, I will come back to you tomorrow once these are ready. Oh, I wish you could see a bit better in there. Like, yeah, it just looks a bit dark. It looks a bit dark. I don't want to turn my brightness on. Am I flash? Am I flash? No. Nope. All right, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully these work nicely. Right, it's the next day, bright and early. And uh, let's get this guy out, eh? Oh, it comes out so easily. Look at that. No problems at all coming out. I may have used a little bit too much ink, <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. I kind of squirted rather than just dropped, but anyway, let's move that one out of the way for a minute so the camera knows what to focus on. And let's have a look at the other side, shall we? Oh, look at that. Might help if I focus it. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know that my color choices were all that good, but um, you know, like I said yesterday, you might want to just do clear 
I wonder what it would be like, like dusting them with like a gold mica. Get a totally different look, hey? Can you imagine that with a little hook and just, you know, sparkling in the window there in your kitchen maybe? It's picking up all those different lights because of the faceted surface there. So pretty. Well, lots of things I can do with that, I'm sure. So we'll have to do that again. All right, so that's that one. Love it. Move it out of the way. Let's have a look at this. Our little leftover. Our little leftovers, hey? Hopefully they'll just pop out nice and easily too. Actually, let's get them all out first and then we'll look at them, hey? pop out nice and easily too. There we go. This um, is also available in my eBay store if anybody wants one of these. It's, it's really fine, really, really fine druzy crystals in there, moulded from real stones. So very, very fine druzy. Gives you a really nice effect. Small crystals on a small pendant, you see. You don't want them too big. All right. Let's have a little look, shall we, at what these are going to do. Oops. There you go. Look at that. Stop my camera shaking. So it has got some transparency. You can see my finger underneath. Look at the sparkle. So pretty. Let's look at the next one. Look, see now my camera's focusing on that. Go away. There we go. <laughs> it's got this little yellow square. Um, so I need to put the little yellow square on the item that I want to focus. I'm still learning about these things. This one's really pretty too. It's got a touch of purple, a little bit of blue. Still got ink and stuff under my nails. Gosh. All right, here's the other one. They're all a different shape. Really sparkly, crystally. This one's a little bit sort of longer shape, longer and thinner. Love the colours on that one, more blue. Now this one was the last one I did. This one's got more green on it because I'd run out of the other colours. But again, really sparkly. Sparkly and crystally. So pretty. All right. Well, there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed that little video with my new mould. Um, yeah, it'll be available in my store real soon. I'm thinking about making a, a four coaster mold out of it. Oh, that was the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put a cup on it and see if it works as a coaster. Let me just go and get a cup. So that's it there. Different angle. Bring the camera down. And I just want to see if how it would go with a the cup. There we go. Yep, okay. It's not wobbling at all. It's good. Doesn't that make a cute little coaster? It's so cute. I was worried that it might sort of wobble, but it's really stable. It's not it's not wobbling at all. So yeah, I might turn it into a coaster mold. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. On a coaster mold for it. And there's those other little guys. Oh, love it. So happy with it. All right. <laughs> Let me know what else, um, other colors and things you think I should do with that one. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Bye for now.